All right, welcome back to the cast, guys. This is the Dragon Invitational. Again, once uh, once more, and you probably still look at this at this point, but seriously, give some respect to Dragon, guys. Go to his channel, send him a tweet, thank him for letting us cast whatever you need to do to show your affection to this dude. Because it's really kind that he allowed us to join him for this round of eight. Now, sadly, Namshar had to take a small break, guys. For those who don't know, he is planning to attend uh, DreamHack Valencia as a competitor, so we wish him the best of luck. He has to organize some flight details. He'll be back in a little bit, but for now, we go back to the regular old try-hard duo cast with myself and Fenner. Spotting here in the bottom right corner of the map, though, it is gonna be the Red Terran player Keen. Mm. Is he still an MVP? I don't actually I don't know how that works. I think he is. I think he is. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out in a second. But in the top left of the map we got a blue Protoss pair player. It is first. Oh, but we introduced him second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's have a look at Keto. I'm pretty sure he's still on MVP. Yeah, he's he's still on MVP, so okay. it's all it's good a, though. It's it, there's some players that you just you have to say they're like, I could never say like Marine King. It's always gonna be like Marine King Prime. You know, MVP Keen. It just sounds weird yeah. to just say Keen. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be right if he wasn't on MVP. This is one of the only matches today, guys, where there will be no Zergs. In fact, this is the only match where there's no Zergs involved today, as the last match we'll be casting after this. Hyun versus Life will be a ZBZ. But, oh, uh, yeah. TVP is a very, you know, especially in the Korean scene. I, I'd say this is the one match that across all regions is still the weirdest one to figure out. We see a lot of all-ins from both players, whether it's an SCV pull or a Protoss vicious attack. This is the matchup that I think is probably frustrating most players in StarCraft 2 than anything else. Is this is this map good for the old blink call in Ripkin? No, actually, surprisingly, I, I really? this is one thing that I think. Well, hang on, blink. Well, okay, let's be honest. Blink all in in the right build against the right person will always be a fantastic thing to do, right? Uh, regardless of map. But one thing that the map makes. But I'm looking at the well, cliffs. Well, that's the thing. The cliffs actually not that big of a deal here. Um, really? Yeah, okay. They look nasty, at least. Okay, it looks a little bit scarier first because the problem is it looks like there's a way in from the base from every angle. And that's absolutely true. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, though, there's chokes and there's enough sort of tight space that, as a Terran player, you can help deal against this. And, you know, if someone's blinking from the left side, they certainly won't be blinking from the right. It, it, it's too big of yeah. a distance to cover. So, I mean, Blink Once Upon a Time was the end-all be-all. It was the, okay, this is Yansu, okay, this is Polar Knight, okay, this is Frost. You know, you never wanted to deal with it on any of those maps. But the map makers actually did a pretty good job uh, with these new maps, and especially the even newer maps where they've really done... Uh, I don't know, deterred blink? Ooh, that's not a cancel though, that's a kill. The SCV went down over here too. First blood! So map Ouch. map shenanigans on hold for a sec. This is a horrible opener for Keen already. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that reflects in the supply. Oh! SCV on 1 HP though. Wow. <laughs> that repair for a fraction of a second? I don't know. Was... How do you have 1 HP when a probe does 5 damage? No armor. Yeah, yeah it must have been some repair on the. Uh... Like, that, that seriously is like, I repaired it for like one half of a second to get one but that, <laughs> SCV. Yeah, but that makes him feel better. Like, if he was feeling bad from losing his own SCV and, and not cancelling the engineering bay, getting that probe kill makes well, it feel good, man. Getting the probe kill is actually substantially a big deal, though. It sounds like a joke, because, you know, we're talking about, like, you know, have the feels of it, but that's the probe that usually puts the proxy down. That's the probe that usually has the Stargate as the follow-up. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like Force couldn't still do that, but not as not as fast and that's kind of the key thing because Keen, by the yeah, way playing true. incredibly greedy had this been oracles i think he would have got his face wrecked no reactors on this the gases were delayed i mean he would have only just barely been able to squeeze out enough marines to protect one mineral line so what what's the standard pvt the middle say we go to the late game is it is it the colossus the high templars the charge lots against the marine marauder ghost medivac um, possibly if you would all minds Unless you're Rotterdam, of course, then your late game actually is the early game and you use Proxy Tempest all day, every day. <laughs> Which I'm not going to lie, I've actually been doing a ton of on ladder as Protoss. It's uh, disgusting. But no, I don't want to play you on ladder, Rifkin. It sounds horrible. I just cheese 24-7, man. Uh, but no, you're not incorrect about saying that. I mean, Templar and Colossus are kind of the layers to the game that we see so often. I think the one thing that really separates a good Protoss player from a great Protoss player, though... Ooh, nice scout in the SCV. Oh, no, we actually didn't see the extra gateways. 
Uh, that's kind of a big deal. Hang on, we'll talk about the late game in a second because uh, right now, first is done a huge deal to hide his gateways. Four gateways off of two bases, this is not the same as like four gating a Zerg player. A Terran player is going to have a much hardier, much easier to hold defense. But this is something where, oh my god, he even scans and he only sees one of the extra gateways. Three gateways still doesn't look that crazy. It's the fourth one that really tips this over the edge and has to put a Terran mm. player like in just absolute fear. Uh, but oh, he's moving out. But Keaton, no, no, he doesn't raise him. Look at the sixth sense. He's putting down extra bunkers right now. He's ready for this push. Wow. So, I mean, okay, something looks amiss. You see the third gateway. Well, actually, he's only seen two gateways. That actually really doesn't look too too out of the ordinary, but still. I think it's the fact that Keen went so, or sorry, first went so out of his way to hide these that he got worried about it. Yeah, maybe. These Korean players seem to be able to pick up on these things really well. We saw it oh, was MMA. Like, you just saw a couple of roaches. Like, mm, something's off here. It must just be the experience of how many games they play. They can just notice the small things that me and you don't notice. And uh, just throws those bunkers up. And now he's going to be able to defend probably perfectly fine, right? I mean, I it think, looks like it. I think it'll be a bit rough to start here, but what I'm curious about is that Twilight Council. We'll see whether that that's going to be Dark Templar Jack or Blink. Uh, Blink this late probably wouldn't be as efficient, but SCV is pre-pulled into this. This is really important, guys, because, uh, of course, if you just try to normally repair force fields go down in the SCVs, well, quite frankly, are useless. These bunkers are scary, but they're not un or impenetrable. And it, ooh, is gonna be a dark shrine. Yeah, blink off uh, mm -hmm. this timing. I mean, blink's more colossus-oriented tech, and I think we would have seen forges down if that was gonna be the case. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the the last way I expected this to go, and unless he makes a warp prism, sorry, to uh, shuttle units in here, I think that it's not, well, he's got the turret down. It's not I think he's not gonna get yeah. into the base. So, I mean, Ooh. if this fails, Ooh. if the DTs fail, Hang on. sneaking around the side. The bunkers are going to fail, so it's going to happen oh. out of position in the wrong spot for this. I mean, Keen's got to know this is coming. He pushes out to kill the pylons. Great, fantastic. But he still doesn't have that stim. It will for the time of the attack, but not for like 30 seconds from now. If these stalkers sneak the ramp right now, there's not going to be that stim to deal with this. He's going to have to pull SCVs. The bunkers are not ready. Yeah. The bunkers are not ready either. He's moving up right now. And, I mean, that's so a decent amount that of Marines. 10 in game seconds, that's all he needs. And with those force fields, he'll get it. Hmm. The all difference right, so that Stim makes for Marauders especially against against Stalkers is huge. You can't even, it's the difference of winning and losing. So, Keen knows this, First knows this, and that's why we have this disengage. All right, Rifkin, so he make, if he makes DTs and he doesn't do damage with them, is he, is he far behind, or is it just a minimal investment? Is he still in the game? Because he's not actually making DTs yet, it's, though. It's not is the it, DTs. Just it's, stalkers. it's the lack of upgrades that are really getting me here. I mean, mm. he, Protoss players, you'll usually get double forge, you're chronoing them both. Suddenly you're on 3-3, three, three, or your turn player's just finishing up 2-2. Two, two. It's such a big lead for those zealots that will take no damage, especially with the Guardian Shield, from the Marines. The DTs, usually what they end up doing is forcing a scan or two while killing about three SCVs. Uh, the turn in the Nashville actually keeps that from happening, but as he goes to the main... Keen's gonna have to burn a couple scans when he would otherwise love to be muling. Oh, but he sees this! Oh, he sees it! <laughs> Alright, so he gets one wow. SCV kill. That could have been so much worse. I mean, the scan alone is almost worthwhile. Oh, that meta bag. That's like the DT failing. <laughs> also going down pretty harshly, but. Oh, look at his main base, Rip. He hasn't noticed the SCVs are not mining. Oh, oh God. That's, oh, God. That's gonna hurt a lot. He's gotta put that back on. He'll oh, find oh, out in a God. second. No, he'll look in a second because he's got about the same there we starport, go. There we go. right? Oh. Yeah, Ooh. so there you go. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so... Right, but Keen... <laughs> That's awkward. Keen's army is, like, in the top right of the map here looking for pylons, I guess, and will he find it? Will uh, he find the he pylon? Should. I mean, you'll touch the watchtower, right? So Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. But okay, so first, this is a little bit weird. Uh, the order he's doing this, the order of operations is completely backwards, and I'd say three months ago. If this was, yeah, uh, yeah, if this was like four months ago before the Widowmine change uh, to the shield damage, I mean, this looks normal. This looks acceptable. But guys, the reason this fell so out of favor, I mean, every game, if you remember, seriously, for the longest time, was not Colossus fast. It was Storms with Charge Lots and Archons. The reason this fell so out of favor was because Widowmines basically almost took on the role of EMP. They did a ton of damage to the shields, they just straight up killed half the Zealots. And all of a sudden, the Terran army only has to worry about Storms? Well, that's not a problem in the slightest. Uh, but this fight is not going to go in Keen's favor if he decides to take this. He's got to be careful. Yep. Alright, let's see how this goes. Is he going to go for it? He throws down the scan. He sees a lot of units. That's a big army right there. Yeah. Is he going to go for it? The decision is going to be made right now. And he walks away. 
Yeah, I'm surprised we don't see him sniping observers. I mean, that observer is why first is in the right position to deal with this. Kind of sucks that he, he can see a DT magically without attacking anything, but he doesn't see an observer. I've heard about all these observers as well by Big Bay. Oh, time warp going down, blinking forward. This oh, is huge. Nice the Force Cracking fields as well. Of units. The worst yeah, part about this fight, uh, he lost those medivacs right away. There's nothing to heal this stim. He's going for a drop behind this, though. We'll see if this does enough damage. There's already Templar and Zealots waiting. If first looks for even a second, feedbacks go down. <laughs> oh my god, He's so ready. quick with that. The reaction of this guy's insane. Yeah. The reaction was perfect. He's killing the rest of the units at the top of the map. The charge locks, the drop goes down easily. First playing Keen. that absolutely perfectly in both positions. Keen was just 100% shut down. The only advantage yeah. he has going for him right now is the fact that he did take his third significantly earlier than that of his opponent. But that's not going to carry over too much longer. Not if you don't have an army you can fight with. And especially if you have to pull SCVs because you don't have that army to fight with. He's moving out in the north, but he needs to defend in the south. Oh, oh no, dog! Oh, yeah. you gotta come back home right now, Keen. Do not go this way. Yeah, he's oh, even this... stimming up to the watchtower. Oh, this man but, uh, down here as well. gonna move in. Wait, he might come from the back and cut off the reinforcements here. Oh, this man back screwed. The sentries are gonna get a kill for the first time in their life. <laughs> okay, never mind. Archon kill steals it. What a jerk! It's kind of slick. Yeah, I mean, King kind of knows. There we go. There's a scan. He knows where the army is now, and it looks like first just gonna pull back. He's plus two weapons and plus two armor, just finishing up though. That could be oh. a big timing right there. This is going to be unfortunate. He's trying to go for the drop. There's actually one cannon to defend, and this might actually be enough. Because there's not full marines, it's three marines. Oh, blink forward, take down the medivac. I don't know, you missed that one at the bottom left oh, there, sorry. but another drop at the top of the map. Yeah, also, this, is, this is not enough pretty much in dead. Job. First is just shutting down everything. Two widow mines there. Both go off on ones. Oh, oh yeah, getting the sentries actually. Get, yeah, getting that was unexpected. Uh, he's actually almost gonna get the fort here. That's kind of crazy. This is something that should have cleaned up with, like one zealot warp in. Not that big of a deal though for first. I mean, he's already on two two. Oh, oh like that but that positioning. Like What's up, zealots? This is actually <laughs> gonna be big if he gets that armor upgrade. I mean, armor's what shuts the oh. marines down. This is huge. This is actually he's a huge get snipe. This, this incredibly awkward what? horrible drop that should have done no damage whatsoever actually gets both forges, cancels those upgrades, and gives Keen a fighting chance back in this game. Yeah, that was a really nice play by Keen. They're just finding that position on the low ground. Medivac giving the vision up top. Now he's going into ghost production for that EMP yeah. on the uh, the uh, Templars, the Archons, well, the I mean, Zealots, it's... everything else. Just shut down a lot of their shields that they've got. Well, yeah, there's actually not that many Templar with the army, so just blanketing on top of the shield is going to be huge. And of course, that Archon uh, will go down really fast. But I like what First has done with the few Templars that he has. I think he was setting up for Storm Drops, but this will work out kind of nicely, because he's got four Storms ready, holstered, and available. And Keen was well, segmenting his army to try and prevent what's going down. Nice Storm Dodge, or a missed Storm, depending on your point of view. But, uh, yeah, there's just th this is actually a really scary army. Without Colossus in this, the Marines aren't going to get shut down too easily. The Colossus is on mm. the way, and I think one's already out walking. Yeah. Problem is, no excellence. Marauders will stem into this, no Ooh. problem. Yep. All right, Keen's gonna be moving forward. He has got oh. those widow mines in there that I was talking about. What? Huge yellow warp in here towards the south, though. There's one bunker defending, but one bunker won't stop this many zealots. Unless they get dumb and don't the surface area? Yeah, <laughs> just decided to go for the turret instead. All right, so he'll repair this and try to hold on. This warp is coming here towards the natural. Wants to do the storm drops. Uh, He's ready. Ready. This is a lot of attention. Not army value, but attention from first down here, though. Keen's taking yeah, yeah. advantage of this and pushing towards the north. Alright, the High Templars are coming back in the Warpers and they're going to be able to drop behind the army. They're all clumped up right now. If first can micro these well out of the Warp Prism, then it's going to go oh, really nice well. But Wait, the did he just snipe the Warp Prism? Sorry, sorry. Did he snipe the wall prison? No, no, he, he sniped the Templar. It's, it's so rare that you get to use snipes versus the Templar, though, because you should get feedback and your face dies. But uh, this is huge, because, of course, if you EMP a Templar, it just turns into an Archon. They obviously need three more EMPs. So sniping is a big deal. Like, literal sniping, the ability. <laughs> yeah, he did manage to get the wall prison somehow, so I think that was a snipe as well. No, I not, think. Not too bad. But it, it came from the bottom, yeah. Anyway, well, oh, first moving down here. Yeah. Uh, looks yeah, like a small army machine. 
This is horrible. His his second Stargate. I talked about this earlier. I thought this was already down, but uh, his second Stargate is only just completed. He's I got a third one on the way, and this makes a lot of sense because he doesn't have that reactor. But he doesn't have the Viking count. This is uh, reactionary Vikings, which is not okay. You have to have Vikings ahead of time, ready for the engagement. Oh god, that is a lot of zealots, Rifkin. Ah, not that scary though, because they don't have that level three armor upgrade. It's gonna complete in a second, and then they become like infinitely more scary. But a big drop goes on while this is happening. First pulls back these probes, and this next is gonna go down bolt style. Dropping the main at the same time. We'll see if these two drops are worth it though, because that's a lot of army gone for Keen, and he needs every bit of it at home right now. SCVs pulling the, the SCVs trying to defend this attack. Colossus at the back doing loads of damage. The charge off trying to get through that choke point. Actually, there. There's no storm. The Colossus are not attacking the right units. They need to get on the Marines and yeah. Marauders. Well, they were so busy with the SCVs. That SCV pull actually ends up working fantastically. That should have been a waste of time for first. Or for Keen, rather. But first ends up being the one who wastes the time. Uh, we got a scan going down here because the DTs were warping defensively. But the Nexus goes down and the drop of the main is cleaned up. I got to tell you, I don't know if that was worth shot. it. Because first just lost the whole base. Yeah, I mean it was almost mined out, I guess. It's pretty close. Three hundred minerals left on each patch. That's still a decent amount, though, I guess. Well, I think I think yes. the argument comes to the fact that it's not the minerals; it's the gas. Protoss is so oh, gas top yeah. heavy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, he really himself. wants to look at picking up that gas on the fourth place. He has to pull his whole army back for this. Look at this. This Colossus just walking back across the map, and now he just this... lifts up and gets out of there. This is a really oh. big deal for the Colossus, though, uh, because, I mean, beforehand, first was coming in at a timing where Keen had one single Viking out. Vikings yep. are not the only way to deal with Colossus, but they're the most efficient way, I think, to deal with Colossus, because they don't get distracted shooting other things. But it's worth noting, first, he's at a severe supply deficit right now, and this is not something you can ignore. I mean, coming up against this army, EMP is going to strip those shields of the Archons immediately, making them useless. Temple in the back are going to try and get a storm or two, but the Colossus, are the, I think the linchpin in the army right now, the Viking count's not that big. The Stalkers can blink forward and uh, focus them down, and if that's the case, maybe he holds against this army. But with the Archons available, with EMPs to shut them down and directly counter them, first is going to have a very difficult time holding against this. That Zealot army he had before, gone. Yeah, 200 Supply King moving into the fourth base of first here. Is he going to take the engagement? I don't know if this is the best position to take it, but oh yeah, I don't know about this position, Rifkin. The storms are available. The units pumped up. They're already on low HP. The Vikings are coming forward trying to snipe the Colossus, but the Archons are there doing a lot of damage. I mean, it looks he's like get this might be able to hold on I, this. I don't think he's going to hold this, thing. Thing. I yeah, really don't think he's going to hold this. It's Marauders versus Stalkers, and we know how that fight goes. Ten times out of ten, the Vikings land. A DT's warped in. Actually, this DT might do a lot of damage. Never mind. No. Notice is in the heat of battle, and Keen is about to overwhelm his opponent in game number one. Push in through, looking for the fourth base kill. He managed to take down this Colossus, which I thought would let him hold, but there were too many Vikings there. And now he's desperately morphing Archons it's, for the defense, but he's on 65 supply against 122. I kind of feel like if he, he, he needed, like, it, not even a lot, but just, like, a, an extra warp-in round of Zealots. And I think he could have helped. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty close. It just kind of snowballed at the end there. Yeah. I, I mean, this was... Uh, to, to explain, guys, like, for Keen... That wasn't an easy choice to make. He's attacking into a choke. He's attacking yep. into his opponent who has Storms, who has Colossus. It was, I wouldn't say ballsy, because I think he evaluated that very quickly and realized, like, oh, hey, I could take this. But as we see, it's not like he walked away unscathed. He did lose a good chunk of his army. The problem is, because first lost that very important base and that natural base from earlier, his income is non-existent. Oh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. His income is fine, but his bank is non-existent. Yeah, King, that's by the way, true. showing the power of mules. Holy crap, look at that income tab right now, Fenner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Rifkin. That is I, disgusting. <laughs> you know, here, this is such a bummer. Uh, as a Terran player, if you've ever. Like, I mean, you're a Zerg player. You've seen Planetary Fortresses. They're, in fact, the bane of existence in most Zerg players' lives. Zerglings can't even touch these things. But Zealots? Archons? Ah, they don't really care about a planetary fortress. So while really? this is a good thing to have, I kind of think the additional orbital at this stage, with how far ahead he's gotten himself, would have been way better to have. This is a small yeah, nature, not a, a big deal. He does have a bunch of useful, useless Vikings right now, but yeah, he has got the oh. army on the ground as well. They're actually clumping up, so they're taking those Archon shots for free. I mean, Vikings, you can call them useless, but I think a lot of people really undervalue just how good their ground DPS is. It's not fantastic, it's not a marine, but it's nothing you can ignore. 
Oh, to save that bunker once again. This, That's done a lot of work this game. Absolutely. Uh, but this, this, for first, I mean, this was his, he knows this is a desperation move. He has to do something. He sits back, he gets out mackered. He knows this. Charge last coming in here, but there's just no AoE for this army. EMP's going down left and right. And the Archons, while splash damage is good, it's not going to win him this game. Yeah, Keen takes down this army. GG from first. It was coming uh, since that engagement at the fourth base. It was the drop that 